I'm Tom Hetzel of Ride Designs. This is part two of the Java Cushion Trilogy, Theory, Fitting, and then Fitting with the Back Support. When fitting the Ride Java Cushion, it's important to first of all get the, chair correct, get the cushion correctly onto the chair. That's getting the back corners to the, to the back of the chair. Before transferring the client onto the cushion, You'll need to place the gauges, place a gauge, this is a gauge that comes with the cushion, in the well. The well gauge is placed down in the well. This is going to help us to determine how far he is offloaded uh, from his ischial tuberosities. An alternative to the gauge, which is my personal preference, is to actually go in when he's sitting on the cushion and palpate, feel where those ischial tuberosities are and make sure they're not touching anything and that they're not bottoming out. But the gauge is a great device for those who would rather not be going there. So with the cover we secured, I may leave it unzipped to get ease access to it. I'll put the cushion on the chair correctly. Now I've got the right Java cushion on the correct chair. All I need is a client. I've got Ryan from customer service, our customer service manager. I'm going to help him get on that cushion and get back without damaging that gauge. So you want to try to help him get on there to aim his, is his ischials down into the well, get him on there correctly. Now, my first thing I want to check to make sure is that he's sitting on the cushion getting some support. Right, okay. His legs are loading nicely. He's got some bearing some weight on his feet, so it looks pretty good. Now, I want to make sure his position on the cushion is correct. And the best way to find that out on any ride product, be it the forward, custom, or Java, is to make sure the greater trochanters are resting where we call the trochanter groove, that mild relief just on the side of the cushion. And sure enough, with that help I gave him, that greater trochanter is resting right in that groove. If that trochanter is not resting in that groove, you need to adjust your back support, cushion position, or position on the chair to make sure that we've got him sitting correctly. Okay. So first, trochanter in the trochanteric groove. Okay. Once I've got that done, I'm typically going to make sure that my back support is set up correctly. I'm going to cover that in part three. All right. right now we're going to say back support's working, feet support is correct, trochanters are where they need to be. Once I've got the trochanters um, in where they need to be, I need to now check the other areas that we need to be protecting. First, coccyx and sacrum. I'm actually going to be inserting my hand behind Ryan to make sure that there's no contact at his coccyx and sacrum. So I'm simply going to reach back in here and right down behind at his coccyx and sacrum, right down into the well, I feel absolutely no contact at that coccyx and sacrum. So that's good. And then, typically I will actually assess right in the perineal area, the groin area, to make sure that he's got room there as well too. Now I need to make sure that the ischial tuberosities are offloaded. So I need to get the client off the cushion without disturbing the gauge. So that means a lift or a mechanical lift, something to help him come straight up off of that cushion. Or in many cases, some, some of our folks, I know when I'm working with um, uh, folks with spinal cord injury, oftentimes I can get them to lean right over, block them, and actually reach down in there and check the gauge. Or we can lift him off. So we're going to lift you off of there, Ryan. Why do you pop up off of there for a second, step to the side. I can then pull the cover forward and check the gauge. The gauge is three quarters of an inch thick. I don't want to see any imprint or at the very most just a very, very mild imprint into the gauge. Right now, everything looks great for Ryan, but let's pretend that he in fact did make contact with the gauge, that he is sitting too low or possibly even bottoming out. Cushion, the Java cushion comes with a pair of what we call cam wedges, contour adjustment mechanism wedges. And what you'll do is you'll simply go to the back corners of the cushion and insert a pair of these wedges. 
The cam wedges are a one size fits all accessory. And you'll see that it hangs over the side there when I put it in there. You're simply going to cut those to width with a pair of scissors or an electric knife if they're in fact needed. I'm going to leave them whole for right now for the assessment. So I've put a pair of cam wedges in there. Cushion comes with two gauges. So you can put another gauge in, replace the cover, go through the same procedure again. Get them back on the cushion. Trocanners, coccyx and sacrum, perineum, get them off the cushion and then establish that he's in fact offloaded. If he's still too low, go to your evaluation tools and get another pair of wedges. You can do them at most, you can do two on each side to tighten up this contour and get him up off of his ischial tuberosities. If a two pair of wedges does not sufficiently offload them, you want to call Ride Designs because you want to be considering the Ride Custom Cushion instead for, for a higher level, a more specific level of protection. Okay? Once we have the cushion properly configured, and we've got them offloaded. We've verified the offloading qualities of the Java cushion. The next thing we need to do is verify the loading qualities of the cushion, and that's going to be done with skin checks. Okay. Review on the cushion, feet and back, trocanners, coccyx sacrum, perineum, check and adjust for bottoming out. Then begin your skin checks. Now, the ride concept of support is the idea of taking all the forces of support away from the high risk areas. And people with sensation, when they sit on a ride designs cushion, feel those unique contours. In most cases, that's perfectly fine. They feel just fine, in fact, very comfortable. But there's a small group of people when sitting on these contours feel, you know, that's just not really, really comfortable. These are typically your lower risk clients, your lower risk clients. And what we're able to do for those folks that want to feel a little bit more comfortable is introduce what we call the well inserts. These well inserts are a washable reticulated foam that can be placed into the well to provide some general support to the bony prominences. What this effectively does is gives it a feel, it takes away that feel of those transitions from loading to offloading. It's very effective at making for a very comfortable cushion and interestingly enough, in the university level research, even when we add gentle ischial support, the cushion outperforms the industry standard in pressure distribution. So, we can start with one, just the top insert, place that in the well, put the cover on, have the client sit on the cushion. Ask the client, does that feel better? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. We can always add a spacer and introduce some more. Okay. Let's talk about now postural alignment adjustability. Our first two adjustments dealt specifically with wound care or skin care and comfort. We used cam wedges to offload Ryan. We used well inserts to make Ryan more comfortable. Now let's say Ryan presented with a mild obliquity. It's flexible and tolerant of correction. What I'm able to do with the Ride Java cushion is use the cam wedges asymmetrically. I can use, again, up to two wedges on one side. By doing that, I provide a nice lifting support on the low side, on the low side of the pelvis. Right side of cushion, this would be a right obliquity, low on the right side. I insert some wedges, assist Ryan onto it, and see if he sits level. I can then come in, establish if we did in fact level his pelvis. If this obliquity does not correct on the Java cushion, and if he's sitting low on the low side, like I, the ischial tuberosity may be bottoming out, and you can't get it corrected on the Java, you just justified a ride custom cushion. You need to capture the shape and accommodate that obliquity. And I'm going to show you how to adjust the front of the cushion for leg support. So Ryan, if you just pop up off of there. The top component, foam component of the Java cushion is sealed in an incontinent proof um, cover. It should never be compromised. You should never cut it or modify. The base can be washed, wiped, whatever you need to do, but also has the places in which medial and lateral thigh accessories can go. 
like the cam wedges, your medial and lateral thigh contours are a one size fits all device. If Ryan needs lateral thigh contour, I can place these on the cushion in the lateral thigh contour um, area and then use an electric knife or even scissors. You'll find it. Even scissors on this, on this foam will typically allow you to cut right through that. You'd cut those to length. That's for lateral thigh contour. Interestingly enough, the lateral thigh contours, when moved back to back, become the medial thigh contours. Again, you put them on the medial part of the cushion and cut them to length if they're determined to be needed. Okay? Once, your, once your supports are trimmed to the right length, whether it be medial or lateral, I will put the, the top foam back on, replace the cover, transfer the client back on, and again, continue your sitting protocol watching the skin and watching posture performance. Okay, so quick review. Fitting ride Java cushion on the chair correctly with gauge. If you're not going to use gauge, you've got to be willing to get in there with your hand and check for ischial clearance. Client onto the cushion. Make sure foot support is good, back support is good, trochanter position is good. Trochanters, coccyx and sacrum, perineum, and then ischials. Palpating the ischials or checking the gauge. If he's too low in the well, use your cam wedges, up to two on each side to improve offloading, to get him a good half to three quarter inch off of the well. Once you've adjusted for offloading, you move forward with your skin checks. If he's sitting on the cushion and doesn't like the feel of it, compromise the performance ever so little by adding well inserts to improve comfort. At that point, move forward with your skin checks. In the event of a mild obliquity, you can use the cam wedges asymmetrically to help level the pelvis. In the event of lower extremity challenges, abducting, adducting, wind sweeping, work with the, with the, with the uh, medial and lateral thigh accessories to optimize leg alignment. If you are not getting the postural alignment, correction, offloading that you're looking for, you need to consider and justify custom. You've chosen Ride as the ultimate in postural and skin care. If the Java does not give the fit you're looking for, for, for offloading and loading, you have just justified custom. The next part, part three of this series, will teach you how to optimize the Ride Java back for fit. Thank you very much.